Hi there, it's Simone. It's an exciting day today in my house because my Hobonichi order came in. And um, yeah, I haven't opened it yet. I went to work and decided to wait until I was able to film. And so here we are. I will cut this open and then I brought scissors with me and then we will have a look at it together. The box in here is yellow this year. It's definitely not as greenish as it, lo as it looks on screen. Um, it's a lot more like egg yolk yellow. This says, you write, you draw, as you move your hand, the lines start running. With the running lines, our mind sprint. Handwriting means letting your mind take off. Actually, I don't agree with that because when I write, I need to concentrate on what I'm writing. Okay, but when I'm drawing and um, decorating and doing all the things, then definitely that is true. Okay, so here is my Hobonichi order. I purchased a cover on cover. This is the Eric cover. It looked like a cat from far away, but it definitely isn't. It's still cute though. So, um, and then I also purchased the turquoise cover on cover. And it is gray inside. I will get those out of the, um, packaging in a second. I'll just unbox everything and then then I also ordered the Cookie Monster A5 that well it's not a dashboard it's called pencil board. I ordered the uh, A5, A5 size folders because I want to put my stickers in there. Then let's see what else is there. I also ordered um, these letter sets and then the tab stickers. I ordered two of the A5 Hobonichi notebooks. I ordered the 2021 Hobonichi Kazen Avec. And then there is two gimmicks inside. It's the a Hobonichi brush pen, the Fude pen, as well as the Hobonichi Techo 2021 Uni Jetstream. I will put this amazing, I keep all the boxes, so I, I'm glad that I can add one more. It's, it's a bit bumped, but that's okay. Okay, let me stop the camera and get everything out of the packaging and then I'll be back in a second. I also brought the Hobonichi that I'm using right now. As you can see, I have actually taken off the pen loops and I, um, I'm i going to start using it with the pen loops, but if it doesn't work for me, I do not have a problem at all with taking the pen loops out and just using it um, without. I, I really like that it, it is flush without anything sticking out of the book. I'm, I want to start using the cover right away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the cover and cover right on top.
Wow, there is, I have never actually opened these up and looked at them. So there is um, how to use these um, covers. It says avoid storing or using product in hot, humid places. Cotton, linen, leather and other natural material covers may stain. Do not use benzi benzene. I don't even know how to solvents or other alcohol-based cleaners to avoid ripping or damage. Do not lift the cover by the bookmarks or pull the bookmarks too strongly. Leather may contain pre-existing wrinkles, stains, vein marks or other markings. Over time, natural oils of the leather may emerge and appear as stains. That's also when you use a leather cover with paper. It's always, um, could always happen that, so I'm just gonna move everything over here. I have stencils in this pocket and a die cut. I, oops, shouldn't show this. I have this in here and then I'm I printed out these weekly trackers that I have in here and online orders and then these stickers. I didn't put them in here to decorate but more to actually um, use them in my, in my Hobonichi. So I'm just gonna move this over here. See, September sun. Right now we do not have, and then those were free printables. I don't remember where they were from, but I loved them. This one says, greetings from the toilet, greetings from the couch, greetings from across the room, and gre greetings from the dinner table. I still need to send one to my, <laughs> to my youngest son. Well, maybe I'll just put it there. Is it the same? Yeah. Wow. And then this and this and this. All right. Um, these are uh, stickers from Sissy's Art Cafe. I am uh, um, supporting her on Patreon and and this one is, oh, I love it, it's a Berlin, Symbols of Berlin um, decal that I made myself. All right, wow, this feels like it's, then let's take all of those things out as well. <gasps> what happened here? Oh, I spilled ink. Oops, 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 I need to clean this. Good thing I am taking it out of the cover so I can. Oh, I know why it's not working. The bookmarks. I'm sorry you have to watch me struggle. All right. This is what it looks. There is one thing that I completely forgot to mention. Um, the cover usually have a back pocket like this. Um, if you get a printed cover on cover like I got this one, then you are not going to be able to use this back cover. If you get a clear cover on cover like this one, there is it's like a like a zipper ziplock bag you can actually open this cover to put stuff into this back pouch here so that is something to consider if you um want to use this pocket back here i thought that would be interesting to know i'm actually really curious to see um how this brush pen actually writes so i'll just open it up to today This feels exactly like the, yeah, 
It says it on the, it's the Pentel sign pen. Alrighty, so there's this one, and then the, I actually have the exact same blue pen from uh, Uni, I ordered them from Amazon, it's the 0 0.5, so black, and blue, and red. And I love this pen, so I, I use it a lot. I also use, where is it? The, um, what is, what nib size is it? It should be the extra fine or fine. <laughs> it's the extra fine Twisby Echo T. And this is the width that I really like writing with. This is the, the fountain pen. So I want to put this, so maybe if you use it more, it opens up more and it goes rough. It, it turns round. I just don't like that they're so f flat. All right, yeah, this is what it looks like. Then I have the Cookie Monster. Then let's look at the Life book. Well, actually this, this, this is definitely printed on thinner paper than it was before. in English as well so I'm I'm really curious to see and I can't wait to sit down and take the time and look at this whole handwrite 40 techo usage examples from the Hobonichi team I think those were also in there um, when they did the planner reveal the the countdown and then this is use it any way you want special features here are the book types then there's number four, the joy of choosing a cover. I wish this and this one came in A5 size. They are so, so pretty. And then five is find the perfect accessories, looking for inspiration. And then our 20th edition and all that Hobunichi has to offer is on their website. I really like that and I can't wait to sit down and take the time and look at all of this in more detail. Previously, uh, the, the paper thingy, this was printed only in Japanese, so I wasn't able to read it, but now it is in English as well, so I'm really happy about that. Then we have these folders. Um, I don't remember the artist. Oh, it says on the back, it's Arai Ryochi. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but these are in A5 size and they're definitely slightly smaller, so they will fit in, in the book. There is, a, I assume they're the, no, they're even smaller than the notebooks that um, you can put into the cover. So they're a bit smaller. Let's just open this up again and just see. This is A5 size and then there's this sliver. And these notebooks, they you could totally fit this right in here or even slip it in the back with the Hobonichi. That's why it's smaller, so you can actually put it in here and use it in there. And the reason why I purchased the notebook is because, um, especially for my monthly reviews, I would like to have that separate from the notebook because um, it's it's much easier to flip through and read and write 
into a different notebook, but then it is contained in one notebook and I can put it and carry it with me in the Hobonichi so I'm not losing the paper. And what I'm talking about right now is um, my next actions list that is usually on the 31st of the month or the last couple of days. And it's just um, easier to put it right next to it and then um, go through the month and through all of the pages and that's why I wanted to have this. And I, it's, it comes in a set of two. This is dark blue and a cream color and the grid is, I think it's even smaller than the, let's just measure. This is point three five, I would say, and the grid of this one is the same. So it's the same grid size, but it's definitely smaller than a five size. Not a lot, just not as as wide. It's the same height, but not the same width. So you can actually fit it in to the cover, cover, and then. Um, slip it in and have it in the back of the book. And I really like having that option and I will definitely start using this right now and we'll just continue um, using this throughout 2020 and then continue using it in 2021. So what I want to put in here is stickers and stuff and I, not those, but more like the kits that I'm using. Is there one right here? I don't know, no. And then just carry the stickers and ephemera right in the book with me when I carry it somewhere. I can't wait to start using this as well. Okay. okay. Really? I really like this one much better. Ah, well, I don't know. Put this in here. They're actually pr both pretty and I would wish as I said before, this cover would have been in A5. I would have totally purchased that. So we looked at this. This is, um, it says, small hunchy paper. I guess that is a special kind of paper that is used for calligraphy. But I actually, I'm not even able to open this, so I'm just gonna leave it closed and we'll look at it later. And then I also went on out and purchased, I, I wanted to have a, a stencil so that I can make lists. You know how much I love this stencil and I it's really hard to use the stencil with fountain pen and I wanted to see if it, it's easier to use this stencil with fountain pen or maybe I'm just lying to myself. I really like how thin this is. Let's just see. The problem I have with this one is that it usually smears because the, the ink is still wet. So there's ink there. Let's just see how this works. Ooh, I like it. I think it works better. I will try it definitely try it out more. And then I like that there is some more of those symbols that you can use, the speech bubble, there's numbers down here, dotted line, broken line for 0.5 millimeter ballpoint pen. Let's see, does it work in here? Let's try. Yes, it does. That is so cool. There's often stencils that don't really work with the pens that I'm using, but I like that they they made the stencil to be able to use the pen that comes with the book. Ooh, I like that. So this definitely, and I think, nope, but I thought there was, oh, the A5, the A6 one is exactly the width so that you can put that in, in the front in here. All right, what else? I also purchased this letter set. I just, I really liked it last year and didn't get it. So I thought since it was still there, I thought I wanted to get this. Oh, 
I really, I'm so, I'm such a stationary nerd. I guess everybody who watches Hobonichi videos is a stationary nerd. The, there's envelopes, one, two, three, four, five, and then there's note cards, notepad, and this one is the one. I thought there were two different designs, but maybe you had to order them separately, but I, I really like this one, so I'm totally fine. And this looks like rice paper. Yay, I like it. I can't wait to use it and send someone a note. And what else? And then the last, besides the Hobonichi Avec, and I guess I'll just um, take you through it at the end. If you have never uh, watched a Hobonichi unboxing or anybody else, um, then I, I will definitely use look at that closer so this i also got because i really like um adding the monthly tabs on here and i saw this on the side and i saw, thought that wow i i really like the colors i like the size of it and then um i assume well one is for the month and one is for the daily pages and then you can also use these tabs to add to different places and then these funny big ears right here all right okay so the hubonichi cousin avec is uh one year in two books and i am using this besides for planning i use this to journal in and use watercolor and ephemera and so i have started this in july and it is already quite thick so i made the decision that I would use the AVEC, which comes in two books. So it's basically January to June in one book and July through December in the other, um, because I don't think that um, one full year in a book would be um, a good thing for my, for my planning and um, journaling style. The two books come with the same front it has the yearly overview right here you have 2021 on the left side and then um, 2020 and 2022 on the right there is a Six month overview on the next page that has the all the dates down here it has room for like if you if you need this to pre-plan your year you could totally do that in here it has both um, all the all the month of 2021 inside so you have the first half and the second half of the year the second book has the second half of the year of 2021 and the first half of 2022. So you know that this is supposed to be some kind of pre-planning. And then you go straight into the monthly overviews and there is, uh, it starts in June in the second book and in December in the first book. And it goes all the way to July in the first and in the second I think it goes all the way through to January 2022. I It sounds so strange to say 2022 as wow sorry yeah so you have a small overlap to be able to um, use one and finish your half year in it and then move into the next one or start in here without um, losing any pre-planning options and all that. And then um, the weekly pages start with the first week or the first day of January 21, which is a Friday. So that means you start on the 28th of July. Oh, I'm so sorry, of December and then this same here 
starts with the first week of July, which is a Thursday, so your your weekly pages start on June 28th. And they go all the way through to the same week that's in here. And I assume and I bet that this goes all the way through to the end of um, the 31st of December plus the first two days of the new year. So the weekly spreads are very open for you to use. They have a Monday start, which is totally fine for me. Same with the months. They also are a Monday start. Um, I am a Monday start person. And so this is coming coming in very handy for me. I do not have to rethink every time um, I look at the monthly spread because it starts on Monday. There is a column right here after below the month. The week that we're in is um, circled in. It tells you the week number. You could use this as a to-do list. Um, the hour, it's an hourly planner, so you have the hours from five to four, so it's 24 hours in a day. It starts on at five and ends at four a.m. Um, each um, hour is divided into two of the squares, so you could uh, divide it into half hour um, increments. Uh, the rest, it is dated. There is um, the days from Monday through Sunday. Sundays are usually always in red and it also um, shows you Japanese uh, holidays. And then the rest is open for you to use as you please. Before the daily pages, there is a um, double page that is turning the page to a new year and we'll just have a look what it looks like right here. There is also a double page, Turning, it says turning the page and then that's it. And then here is another grid page left, which is, isn't in this book. There is only this monthly overview that is not a grid page, it's a white spread. And then it goes into the month, into the daily pages each month has a different color and those colors coordinate with the um, colors on the sticker. So in May you have this olive green and then you have this pink in April. Before each and every month there is one of this page. So the month ends on the 31st and then the next page is an empty page um, that rings in your next month. This is the same for the whole book. Every daily page looks the same. Um, you have this box up here that shows you the month, the day of the month, the um, which weekday it is, and then I assume that this is the moon calendar. Yes. I don't really know. Well, actually, I do know. I just... This is the day of the year. It says it's the 32nd day, which is February 1st, which is also my birthday. I don't know what this Japanese is. There is a grid page that has frames. It's a white um, margin right around here. There is the month on the bottom, right or left hand corner. No, right hand corner every so it's only on the right hand corner if you look at this um, spread right here. And then there is a Japanese writing down here, which is quotes, I assume. I don't know what they say. I use this often to add a decoration. You have five um, check boxes up here that you could use for your daily to do's. And then uh, there is a bigger or thicker line right next to it down here. This you could use as your daily schedule. It starts at five again. No, actually at four, because each one of the dots is an hour. 
and then it has a half hour increments right in between. So it starts at four and goes to four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and so on. And you could totally use this for your daily schedule if you wanted to do so. And then you have the grid page, which is actually, if you look at it more closely, I don't really know if you can see it. The grid is dotted lines. And the book goes all the way through to, this is the second book, to June 30th. And then you have grid pages at the, at the end. There is a timetable in the back that you could use for your, if you went to school or if you have, um, well, I would use it as a school timetable. There's graph paper back here. You could put this as favorites. It's for movies, books, music, food, um, maybe shopping and I don't know, maybe opera or theater when you went to a live performance and you could put the date, uh, write something about it and then give it stars. There is a My 100 list. And then there is stuff that is Japanese that I do not know what it means. There's an explanation, but this, I don't know. But let's just look at it, what it looks like. This is posture, I assume. This is what you could do. Cat cow. Yeah, this is all for your back. And then more information about food and stuff. I don't know about this okay, either. <laughs> then there is a list for gifts that you could probably write the day date to and from who you got it maybe what it was and if you said thank you or how it was received there is another list that is really handy so if you were born in 1926 then you would be 95 years old now is that right yes So I was born in 1977 and I am going to turn 44 in 2021. <sighs> but I like fours and it's a double, it's, in Germany we would say a Schnapszahl. This is a conversion table or something like that. Definitely has something to do with feet, Square meters, inches, square feet. This is um, fluid, fluids, and this is, um, yeah. It would be interesting to know. There's uh, addresses for eight people, and then you could put in your um, name and your address so that somebody could return it to you. The back pages of the second book is, I think, if I'm not mistaken, exactly the same. It goes all the way through to the last day of the year. You have grid pages, you have a timetable, graph paper, favorites, the My 100, the pages that we just saw, and then again, addresses and your personal information. And then it shows you the serial number of the book, which would be really, oh yeah, so they are definitely not the same. And then there is your fly leaf and books are closed. And the, uh, all the time, since I think 2016, the first half of the year is yellow and the second half of the year is blue. And I think that is all the information I wanted to share on this video. I hope you liked uh, my little haul. If you ordered with Hobonichi, I would be totally curious to hear what you received and if you purchased from the Hobonichi site or where else. I wish I had gotten more, but I definitely know that I'm not going to use anything else. And so I decided to refrain myself from buying all the things that I loved on the page. 
I hope to see you soon. Until then, bye.